$9.99 and the leg falls off. <laughs> My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. Okay, well I spent the last two days sleeping off a stomach bug, but I'm feeling better today. And I've decided to drive out to the Goodwill and uh, we're gonna head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. There are some funny looking figurines right here in the door. <laughs> this guy's got a little bit broken there. And this one down here, look at their eyes. <laughs> Pupils hot on her cheek. That's funny. Okay, well, we're gonna take the rose strategically today because it is very crowded. This is the first aisle that has nobody in it. I really love this cup, but there is a chip on the edge. It's like Fultz Graf Yorktown pattern. I love the looks of this. <laughs> it's Fultz Graf as well. What are the chances? I mean, I'm just about ready to say, okay, I give up. I'm just gonna accept it. These are really chipped up though. And this is a pattern I've never seen before in Fultz Graf. Cause it's called Sedona. The looks of that up there, what is that? Marshalls. Originally $3.99, now $2.99. Folk art doll. This is uh, John F. Kennedy. Hmm. Ugh, this is like Andrew's stuff. I don't really know this very well. I think I'm going to set it back. Hopefully, I don't regret it. There's a primitive looking birdhouse. M. Dallas, 1994. I believe it's probably just a decorative piece, but it reminds me of those uh, Pennsylvania folk art uh, bird trees that I'm always obsessing over. So I'll take that. Looks like some sort of desk thing. It's very uh, elaborate though. I think that's an art of some sort. There is a shorebird. It's a dollar ninety-nine. It's very light driftwood. There's a little bit of money to be made there. This has a crazy glaze on there. It's kind of like a lava glaze, but I'm just really not that convinced. That is heavy. And what is this guy up here? Nutcracker Village, made in China, $6.99. Mm, it's probably 18 to 24 if I had to guess. That looks vintage, $6.99. Oh, there's a lot of utensil scratches on that though. And this match is a coffee pot that I picked up a few weeks ago at Shillington. I still haven't listed that coffee pot yet. <laughs> So I don't know if I really need a bowl that matches. Alien cat. That owl is made of a resin material. It's $3.99. If it was like $1.99, I might consider it, but there's not a whole lot of profit margin there. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's Noah's Ark. Very uh, naive artwork. I don't know what it is that that appeals to me. Uh oh, I just took off the sticker. <laughs> I better fix that. I think I am gonna pick that up for two ninety nine. dollars Really what I wanted to check out were these down here. They remind me of those placemats that we had been picking up um, and doing pretty well with. But I don't know if they're placemats necessarily because these are round. Some artwork. What is this? Oh, it's just an album. <laughs> this looks like it says Pottery Barn. There's lots of scratching on that, though. Yeah. Here's a soccer ball. I like the handle on this. It's 
very large though and there is um, condition issues. It's kind of a fun jar. The vegetables on top. I think this may be a print, but it is signed. You can see um, in pencil down there. It says Sandra Rowland, 1997. And uh, I like the aesthetic of it. I think probably because it's um, some flow blow, flow blow, flow blue china and a nice goblet on there. There's no price. I think it may have come from this frame here and somebody dissected it. But I'll buy that. It's a nice piece of artwork. This looks like it could be from Greece. Yeah, the sticker, the marking is covered up on the bottom. I do love the contrast between the black and the gold whenever I find these pieces. They've got $4.99 on that. I'm hesitant at $4.99. I absolutely love this lamp though, this pottery lamp. I don't need lamps. That's interesting with that uh, transfer on there. Giant dent in the side. Stanley will not break, <laughs> but it will dent really bad. $2.99. I think I was going to say, I think that's Fenton, and it is marked on the bottom, Fenton. It's $2.99. It's clear, so it's not the most desirable, but it does have a nice satin finish on it. Oh, $2.99. No, I don't think I'll do that. Two pure one um, teapots. Yeah. I know there is value in Pier 1. I've come to accept it, but I don't need those. There are some bottles. Yeah, they don't look like anything special, though. Alright, well, there was a lamp down here I wanted to check out, but the aisle was blocked off. It's kind of not as exciting as I thought it was going to be, though. It's definitely contemporary. It's very uh, heavy quality though. It's, hmm, so it's missing a shade. I don't know with, without a shade unless this over here is intended to be the shade. Let's see. Maybe? No, that's kind of awkward. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to head back towards the beginning because I skipped at least four or five rows when I came in. Oh, fun. This bunny house is $2.99. I don't know what that's supposed to be, though. Looks like the original price on that was $6, so that's not very encouraging. I like the looks of that down there. What is that? Color Your World, Hotel Ezra, 1990, okay, maybe not, I thought it was a hot air balloon. <laughs> hmm, what is this? Temptations. I'm not usually a fan of Temptations, but I like the shape of that one, it's $6.99. Hmm. So I am going to grab uh, the Temptations picture. Like I said, I don't usually mess with Temptations, that's just a personal preference. Um, I'm not sure the value of this, but I like the look of it, so I'm gonna give it a shot. This is a oh, little ashtray. That is the Philadelphia Zoo ashtray. <laughs> $3.99. Animals on that are adorable. I, I don't know. I'm gonna leave it. Those are plastic. I thought they were gonna be Jasperware. It's a very light ceramic. Let's check out these bowls down here. Mm. Autumn leaf, hand decorated. <laughs> That's kind of sweet. $2.99. What is that back there? Plastic. Hmm, I thought it was going to be porcelain. Rosa Melamine Wear, $2.99. Calla lilies on that. I wonder what it says. 
Well, it does say made in Romania. But I can see there's some chipping on the flowers, which is, which is a shame because that is actually quite nice. There are some pleats with rabbits by Edward something made in England. Um, some of the older plates, like the flow blue plates, when they have rabbits on them, I've seen them sell very well. Um, English potter. So Edward Shalinor. I wonder if those would be worth looking up. Unfortunately, Easter is next week, so uh, by the time we get them listed, it'll be a little bit late for Easter, but um, I think I'm going to look those up. Some, the Victorian English Potter, I think is what it says. Edward Shalinor. Let's give it a shot. Okay, so I found a set of four listed for $30, and they were not sold. Um, consider these are two bucks a piece. That's $8. I mean, I can probably list those up at $28. You know what? I think I will. I just really like them. <laughs> I was also noticing the restaurant wear Buffalo China USA. That's a pattern I've never seen before. Um, that whatever that is around the that red pattern. A lot of the times I'll see the um, the green rings. That's probably one of the most common. I haven't seen this one before, but we have restaurant wear listed right now that's just kind of sitting and stagnant. It really does take the right person I've found, unless it's a desirable pattern. That's a fun picture. It'd be even more fun if it was glass, but it is plastic. Oh, Fitz and Floyd, look at that, $3.99. Where are the chips? <laughs> There's a little bit of a chip there and there on the edge. They're paint chips, they're not actually chips to the ceramic. I like the pattern, it's $3.99. I'm thinking it's probably 18 to 24 dollars on that, but it's a very thin ceramic and uh, When they're this size and they have that lightweight ceramic It really does make me nervous that they will get damaged in shipping There is a happy birthday platter down here, but there's something underneath it that looks like it could be interesting so I'm going to slide some stuff out of the way very carefully We're gonna take a look at it Happy birthday plate looks like it's vintage. Syracuse China, $2.99. I like that. Uh, I might pick that up. This is the one I wanted to get a closer look at. That is Mikaso Intaglio. I might that look that up. I mean, it's 1980s, 1990s. All right, so I'm just looking up these plates real quick. Um, it looks like a set of four sold for yeah, best offer accepted. I don't see any serving plates. Uh, this is likely a serving plate. So a set of two sold for 25. I don't know if it's necessarily worth grabbing for as much as it's gonna take to ship. No, it's glassy. <laughs> I like the looks of that fish plate right there. Ah, there is a bit of a chip on the fin. $2.99. R647. That makes me think that this could be California pottery. $3.99. You see the chip there though? I think for $3.99, I'd be willing to forgive that chip. It's a really fun plate. Just slide it in there. There's a fish candlestick. Sale. $4.95 each. 10,000 villages. You know what I noticed was uh, there's a mug back there. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe zoom in on it. Looks like it's flow blue. So I think we're going to skip to the next aisle. But first, I want to look at this. New Hampshire Culver. Made in USA. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, let's go look at that other mug. I don't think that vase was here earlier. $1.99, it's a crackle glass vase. The threading on it. 99 Nice sea green colored glass. 
I guess green and blue is our theme for the day. <laughs> this is a great little cup. I wonder if that's Anchor Hawking. It's a shame there's only one. I don't know, maybe we'll come across some more. There's a birdhouse. $3.99. A decorative birdhouse. That's like 18 to 24. It looks like somebody just painted it. Okay, here's that mug. Let's check it out. What's oh, a Florida souvenir mug? $2.99. I tend to steer clear from souvenir stuff. This is fun though. The Unemployed Philosophers Guild. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what is that? Eye patches. <laughs> you would never run out of eye patches with that. <laughs> Here's one. Like, kind of like these. Take those. Those are pretty. Let's check this out up here. Is that a painting? No, it's just a print. It looks like it's a pretty print, but it's just a print. Hey, what is this down here? Is that a little plant stand? Hmm. It's $9.99. Oh, and the leg falls off. <laughs> it looks like that leg was probably replaced and not done properly. We're just gonna slide it back in there. <laughs> There's a Tonala vase. It's a small little thing, $1.99. We're looking at 8 to 12 on that. Probably. Oh my gosh, little Barbie shoes are falling everywhere. $2.99. I like the shape of that cream. I like there's some gold. No, that's Barbie's necklace. I think I'll take that as well. It really was unintentional, but I think I do have a theme going here. Okay, well. We'll give it a few more minutes, but I think we're going to start wrapping it up because I've got other places to be today. What is this? That is a waste basket. There are some of those cork-backed um, placemats. They're in rough shape though. $2.99 each. You can see I've got scratches on them. Hmm, this is interesting. It almost looks like it's a fairy light of some sort, or at least somebody used it that way because there is soot on the inside. I have it for $2.99 with the cardinals on it. I've never seen this shape before. There's no markings on it. It could be made in Taiwan. You know what? I think maybe I'll grab that for $2.99. Earlier when I walked down the aisle, I saw the lid, but I didn't really register that they were a set. Ooh, be careful. There we go. Yes, this is an interesting stoneware mug. $2.99. Looks like there's a man covering some wooden shoes. I'm not sure at $2.99. There's a whole lot of room there. Alright, well we've got one last aisle to check. Well, I just wanted to check the um, artwork aisle before we took off. King Arthur. <laughs> That's kind of a fun decorative piece with all the bird cages hanging off a tree. As much as I love birds, I don't really think it's my aesthetic though. Oh, this is fun. Jane Orms. This looks like uh, yeah, Ikea. <laughs> There's Ikea. This is the second time I found a piece similar to this that was Ikea. Jane Orms. <laughs> You know what? It might be worth looking up. It's very adorable. It appears as though there's only one sold $12.99 best offer accepted. So that is going to go back on the shelf. If I was buying it for myself, I would definitely, uh, definitely pay that. And it is super cute. Something I would consider for myself. But uh, we have a real fish. We don't need a fish artwork, I feel like. 
Roadside America, Hamburg, Pennsylvania. We've been there. <laughs> That's kind of fun. All right, well, I was getting ready to head out and I was told there's a new cart over there. So I figured I'd check it out real fast before I take off. Doesn't look like a whole lot. Hmm. Lots of clear glass on it. Books and DVDs. I don't really see much. Some baby toys. That shelf is kind of cool, but not really something I would mess with. So I think that's it. Okay, well our total spend today at the Goodwill was a whopping $63. <laughs> I feel like we got some pretty decent stuff today. Um, I really just tried to slow down, be a little bit more selective, and, well, take my time. And I feel like we got a few a few good things. I'm, I'm excited about that fish platter. Um, I think it might be California pottery. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here now. I'm going to head on down the road. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see all of you tomorrow. So um. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.